3D Visibility 7.0 is the only solution that offers enterprise data usage analytics and monitoring across enterprise data warehouses such as Teradata, Netezza, DB2, and Oracle slash Exadata, as well as Hadoop through a single console. In this brief demonstration, let's take a look at the unique features provided for Hadoop by Attunity Visibility. In Visibility 7.0, you get insight into business activity, data usage, and workload performance for Hadoop deployments. Let's start with business activity. By selecting the measure category, you're able to assess and measure how Hadoop environments are being utilized by the business groups or any other groups that you can easily configure. For example, let's take a look at business activity based on jobs run on your Hadoop environment. In this example, I'm able to view the activity on my Hadoop environment in the context of departments within an organization such as sales, finance, and marketing using visibility to group your user activity based on these business entities. For example, I'm able to assess the overall job volume, the CPU consumption across my cluster, as well as memory utilization across my cluster based on the business usage of my Hadoop environment. I can also look at the adoption rate based on user activity by the different departments, as well as the application activity being run by these different departments. I can use um, visibilities to also drill down to get more information related to this activity by um, the groups that you have created. For example, if I want to know more information about who are my top users uh, running jobs from the marketing department, I simply select it in this manner. Now I'm prompted with a menu that can allows me to look at different activity details related to that particular department. For example, if I want activity trends, I would select activity trends for the marketing department. Or I can look for users or even data sets being used in Hive, for example, or the jobs being run, as well as even get individual SQL statements being run by specific users from that particular department. For example, I may want to find out who are my top users running jobs from the marketing department. So when I select on top users, now I'm prompted with a dashboard you know, that gives me the top users uh, in a bubble chart and I'm easily, where I can easily assess uh, who are those top users in terms of activity as well as folks running uh, jobs that maybe, for example, may be based on a performance metric. For example, the size of the bubble that you see in this particular dashboard is uh, uh, based on the job's total elapsed time. So just by viewing the bubble chart, I can see that these three users are uh, ones that are running jobs that take particularly long time to run. I can get more details about it by simply selecting a particular user of interest, for example, and then be able to get information about the jobs that are being run by a particular user in this case. That's, uh, again, I started from a business context, so this particular user is in marketing, and now I can find out the jobs being run by that particular user by simply selecting the jobs. And now I'm prompted uh, with, uh, with uh, a dashboard that shows me all the jobs run by that particular user where I can get more details related to a particular job in this manner. So with that, I was a brief demonstration on how you can start by assessing the overall business activity related to your Hadoop environment and then be able to drill down to get more details about user activity, job performance, as well as uh, data sets accessed and used within your Hadoop environment with just a few clicks. Next, let's take a look at data utilization uh, and data usage activity analysis provided by visibility on Hadoop. I can go into the assess category here and select data utilization to very quickly assess the overall utilization of data within my Hive meta stores. For example, I can uh, very quickly assess that there are very few tables that are very actively used by the end users. For example, I can simply select those tables in this manner, that, uh, uh, the uh, chart in this manner, and then be able to identify those tables by simply clicking on top tables here to see which are the data sets that are very actively used by the end users. So when I select top tables, I am prompted by the dashboard that gives me insight into the very actively used data. So as I can see here, it, 
it lists the top five tables that are very actively used by end users. And I can simply go ahead and click on this menu to be able to select the top users to find out who are those users that are very actively using this data set. But going back to the overall data utilization, I may also be interested in looking at what data is not being utilized by the business within my Hive Metastore, for example. So I can simply select, I can see here that almost 80% of the data that's made available is not being leveraged by the business. So I can simply select uh, this uh, chart in this manner and then go into the unused tables here to be able to view the unused data within these different databases. For example, if each uh, color there represents a database, I can select a particular database in this manner and then be able to zoom in to identify the specific tables that are not being utilized within my Hive Meta stores as well. Now that we've taken a look at business activity and data usage uh, within Hadoop, let's take a look at workload performance analysis provided by Attunity Visibility. You can look at uh, activity trends across all of the um, jobs being run on a Hadoop environment, both in terms of uh, uh, jobs that are taking advantage of the test framework, as well as just MapReduce job that is not taking advantage of uh, the test framework, as well as Hive that uses TES or Hive that's generating MapReduce jobs without the test framework. So we are able to actually look at the different workload types very uh, easily within the activity trends. At any point, you may select a particular uh, chart of interest and then be able to drill down to find out information about either the users or any other details about the specific jobs being run. Another way to actually analyze workload performance is to be able to go to the investigate category where I'm able to look at it in the context of specific um, users or jobs or applications being run. For example, if I select top users, now I'm prompted with all of the activity based on the top users running jobs within my environment. I can get uh, uh, a more uh, granular in my analysis. For example, I may care about users uh, from a particular business unit. Now that I've used visibility to group my users by business units, I may care only about looking at my top users from the marketing department. Um, I can simply select apply and I'm now prompted by the top users related to the marketing department. I could also um, select maybe based, based on other types of metrics. For example, if you have job names associated with jobs being run, you can actually sell, uh, select uh, based on the job names associated um, with uh, all of the different jobs that are run to do analytics within your system as well. Now, once you get this information, the ability to drill down is um, very, very powerful. For example, if I care more to find out more about this particular user, and I could find out more about not only the data sets being accessed, but I can find out the typical jobs being uh, run by that user. Or for this example, let's say this user is running some Hive uh, queries, either using TES framework or otherwise. As you can see, I have the SQL statements associated for that particular user rank ordered by the elapsed time related jobs elapsed time related to that particular SQL. I can get more details about a particular SQL as well, uh, not only the SQL statement, but the complexity of the SQL in terms of the statement facts and statement metrics associated with the particular SQL statement. In addition, if I'm interested in finding out the specific jobs that are spawned by a particular statement and to, to assess and diagnose the performance metrics of the jobs, I can actually select a particular statement and drill down on the jobs as I do on the right hand side and get the information about the different jobs that are being run um, for, that, for that particular SQL statement. If I'm interested in a particular job in this manner, I can select the job and then drill down further to get information about the job metrics. If, for example, this particular job did, has not run very well, I could actually compare it to a test job or a set of jobs run under a particular user or a particular job ID to be able to compare and see what metric uh, made this particular job to run uh, poorly. For example, if I select a particular user here, let's say it's an admin user that has run a set of uh, test jobs and apply this, 
I'm able to very easily get all the metrics lined up so that I can start comparing what was different about this particular job compared to the test run that made that job run slowly. So as you can see, you Visibility can be used not only to identify the users associated with all the jobs being run, but also to be able to diagnose issues very, very quickly and find the sources of the problems very quickly as well. So in summary, Attunity Visibility 7.0 is the only solution that gives you a cross-platform view of data usage analytics and monitoring for both your data warehousing environments and Hadoop through a single console. It gives you insight into business activity, data usage, and workload performance to efficiently manage large-scale data warehousing environments.